one of the most commonly asked questions on the Big Green Egg, and we're gonna answer it today. Welcome back to another week of the Fogo Life. That's right, we get asked this question a lot. Now, we've touched on this subject a little bit, how to clean the Big Green Egg. In some of our videos, we've cleaned a little bit here and showed you a little bit of clean out, but we keep getting questions more and more about how to do it all. So today, we're gonna go A to Z on how to clean everything from the inside to the outside. Everything about your grill is gonna get clean today. One of the big parts about cleaning them is what accessories and what do I need to do it? Well, there's a long list of items that I like to use. First of all, when I'm handling anything to do with charcoal, I got these gloves here, they're from Kick-Ash Basket, and I love these gloves when handling anything with charcoal. It just keeps my hands from getting filthy. But there's a ton of different accessories. You can use a dustpan. We've got things to clean the outside of the grill. We've got grill scrapers, ash tools, um, you name it. I'm gonna show you the vacuums and the right um, filters to use for the vacuums. We're gonna cover everything today. We're gonna start with each accessory and show you how to use each one to optimize your big green egg and Kamado grill performance. A lot of you might ask, why do I have to clean my grill? Because you've got a lot of money invested in this thing and you wanna take good care of it. Plus, the cleaner it is, the better your food is gonna taste. So let's get started with the inside of the Big Green Egg. The first place we're gonna start with our grates. Now these grates, I keep mine pretty clean, so this is pretty clean. And there's a number of different ways to clean it, okay? You can use a wire brush, a wire brush like this, Okay, a lot of people will use something like this on it, but a lot of people complain sometimes because these bristles might break free, it might get stuck on there, and I've heard about people having to go to the hospital, but it's a great way to get some of this stuff off. You can see just a couple little streaks by here, and we're already getting a lot of um, dust and dirt coming off the grates and falling onto the convector. So it's a great way to start, but I do like to get it nice and clean, all right? And then what I'll do is I'll take a wood scraper like this, and then go over it again. This way, if any of those bristles do get caught on the, on the grate or anything like that, you don't have to run a chance of them getting into your food because this is going to wind up taking it right off of there and leave you with a nice, clean grate that is not gonna give your food a funny flavor. Now, when it comes to cleaning a grate, a lot of people ask, when do I clean my grate and why? Okay, you wanna clean it when it's hot. So when you get done cooking, Close it up, let it burn for a little while longer, give it another five minutes burning, let all that food get charred and burnt on there, and it should scrape off real easily. If not, shut it down when you're done cooking. Next time you do it, light it, put the grate in, and then scrape it after it's all heated up. A hot grate will clean up a lot easier than the other one. The other way to clean your grate, this one's made by Big Green Egg. You can use this on your grate, you can use this on your pizza stone, your ceramics, real simple. Just go straight across, just like this. Works like a champion, no bristles to fall out, no anything. You're gonna have a nice good, nice good cleaning on, like I said, the grate or the ceramics, and you're not gonna have a chance those wire bristles getting caught anywhere. So this is a great alternative as well. So any which way you like to do it, that's the right way. All right, well, our grate is nice and clean, so let's take this out of here and move on to our next step of the process. Our next step is our convector, okay? As you can see, this one is pretty clean. Now I just cleaned the grate a little bit, but I wanna talk about something else. This one is nice and clean and white because what we did is we did a clean burn. If you wanna know what that is and how to do it, check out that video right there. We did one on it, it's a great video. It's gonna show you all about how to clean the inside of your ceramics, including the convector. It's a great video, check it out. Now let me show you how to clean it without doing a clean burn. Now, this one's pretty simple. To clean off your convector, first of all, cover it with aluminum foil if you're gonna be cooking and you get drippings, okay? It'll prevent a lot of the cleaning issues. All you do then is just take up the aluminum foil, fold it up, and throw it away when you're done. If you don't do that, use one of these. Now this is a clean burn, so it's already pretty clean, but there's still a little bit of buildup on it. So again, a wire brush or the big green egg one here, just take it and simply just brush it off. What that does is it gives you a nice clean convector. You can take all your oils off, gonna take all the buildup from the last cook that you had in like that. It's gonna get all of that off of there. If you don't do that, what happens is you light the egg, you burn it, and all that stuff is still on there. It's gonna create a foul smell. It's gonna give it off-putting smoke and your food is gonna have a bad flavor to it. You don't want bad flavor, all right? We're going through all this work. Let's make some killer food. Clean your convector. Clean grate, check. Clean convector, check. Now let's delve deeper into the egg and clean some more. Time out on this play for a public service announcement. This may be obvious to some of you, but not to all of you, trust me. So when you're cleaning out your egg of all the charcoals, make sure the charcoals are extinguished. Make sure they're out and cold when you're cleaning the ash and things like that out of your egg. Very important, we don't want to start a fire. So there's your public service announcement for the day. Now let's get back to cleaning this thing. We've got a big accumulation of ash in the bottom of this thing. So we're gonna clean it out. Now come here, come here, come here. Let me show you what I mean. 
See all this ash down in here? We want to get all of this out of here because what that does is it restricts your airflow. When you open up the front vent, you should have a clear shot. But no, look at this pile of ash that's going to restrict the airflow. There's a couple different ways to clean the ash out of here. We're going to cover them all because like different people like to do it different ways and they're all pretty effective. Big Green Egg makes these. They're called ash tools. What they do is they're used for pulling the ash from the front door of the, from the bottom vent. You stick this in there and pull it out there. The next thing you can use is this, okay? A little dust pan and a dust brush, it's nice. What I like to do first though, before I actually clean out the bottom, wipe the whole thing down, get all that ash and dust down into the bottom so we're cleaning it all out altogether. The other way you could do, you could put this right down into the egg if you work with an XL, large is a little tight. But with the XL, you could just reach down in here and just scoop this stuff up, brush it onto here and scoop it out of here. My favorite way to get the ash out is through a vacuum. Now this is called a bucket head. You can get this at Home Depot, any of your home appliance stores, home, any one of your home improvement stores is gonna have something like this. The beautiful part about it, you're only buying the mechanism and it fits right on top of a five gallon bucket. So if you already got a five gallon bucket, all you need is this attachment and you have a vacuum to suck out all the ash out of your big green egg. The only thing you have to be careful with this, these kind of can be a little bit top heavy and they tend to knock over a little bit, but that's okay. It's a pretty inexpensive way to do it. For under $30, you got yourself a nice vacuum to vacuum this thing out. And we're gonna do that right now. Now, if you wanna go really pro and go big like I like to do, then you got the full size shop vac here, okay? But on each of these shop vacs, I wanna teach you a little something. They make a specific filter. They all have filters in them. This is a specific filter. If you look here, it actually is check mark here for this one, for this model for cold ash. Otherwise, you're gonna turn your shop vac, you're gonna suck it in one side of it, it's gonna blow all the ash all over. So if you're using it on your patio, you're gonna have an, an ash-filled patio afterwards. If you use this filter, you're not gonna have that problem. So make sure you get an ash-approved filter for your shop vac. Trust me, you will thank me. And that's what the filter looks like right there. Let me show you how to install it real quick. It's super simple. Just pop these latches open, pull that lid off, just like that. You're gonna have something that looks just like that. You merely take your filter, slide it over that. First thing you make sure you're doing, put it on the intake side, not the output. You put it on the intake, just connect your hose, and you're ready to suck the ash out of this thing. This next spot is if you want to do a really deep clean and continue on the vacuuming, what we're going to do is we're going to take the ceramics out. A lot of people don't realize that ashes build up on the outside of the ceramics as well in there and can prevent some airflow. You don't have to do this every time that you clean out your egg. I would say once every couple, two, three months or something like that, do that just as a precautionary tale so that you're not getting any kind of restrictions on your airflow. The more airflow, the cleaner fire you're going to have. Now, as you can see, there's not a lot of ash around this outside one. We just cleaned this recently. It's a pretty new egg, so it's not a problem, but we're just going to wipe down Get all the ashes out like this. Put it all down there. And you can either brush this all together or vacuum it out, whatever you want to do. We're getting down to the last part of cleaning, folks. So we're going to be assembling this, putting everything back in. And now there's one last thing left to clean. The outside. Real simple, I get asked about it a lot. How do you keep your grills clean? Most times, a little bit of water and a dishcloth. That's what I use. I just wipe it down. Um, I don't do it a lot, but I do it outside. You know, mine's under a covered patio, but maybe yours is outside, gets dirtier quicker. You could do that. Um, Big Green Egg makes a couple products here. It's an exterior, exterior ceramic cleaner. This one is if you get some good stains going down the sides here. Sometimes you see that black gunk build up it's to help take that off of there. But really, just a spray bottle with some water. I've heard um, Simple Green or the orange stuff too works really well. Um, you know, just remember, it's ceramic, it's coated. You can, you can spray it with a lot of stuff. You don't want to use something with too much chemicals in it. Try and keep it somewhat natural, all right? Because don't forget, we're cooking food on these things. But, you know, a little bit of care, a little bit of maintenance, and these eggs will last you a long time. Egg grills in general will last you a long time if you just take care of them. Clean the grates, clean the insides out. It doesn't take very long. You can see by this little tutorial we did here today, it's simple. So, if you liked what you saw here today, okay, subscribe to our channel, give us a thumbs up, and do me a favor, leave us a comment. It really helps us out in the videos if you leave us a comment. So, I beg of you, <laughs> I don't beg of you, but I'm asking you, leave us a comment, tell us what you think, say hi, whatever you want to do, okay? But the comments help us out. So, thanks for tuning into the Fogo Life. Remember to get out, grill, and we'll see you the next time on the Fogo Life.